everyone and welcome to a slightly different project. This is Cave Noir by Konami for the original Game Boy in 1991. There is a fan translation patch somewhere around, but I don't know where it is. Somebody sent it to me, but I couldn't get it working. So we're going to start a new game, female character model. I don't know what any of these are, so I'm just going to pick four random ones. And let's get started. <clears throat> so this is sort of a roguelike. There are four different dungeons. They're pseudo-random. Each one you have a different goal. In this one you just need to kill a certain number of monsters. In this one you need to find some of these little fairy things. In this one you need to find these goblets with snakes around them. And this one you need to find gold. So let's start this one. And whenever you enter the dungeon you start fresh with pretty much these stats. The higher level you go, the better you'll be when you start out. And they give you some items. And there's no leveling up or anything, so generally you want to avoid monsters, if at all possible. But because we're in the first dungeon, we do need to kill them somehow. And this thing doesn't actually do anything except in the dungeon where you need to collect them. So there's really no reason for me to have picked that up. You can press B to skip a turn, and let's kill a crab. The crabs are actually kind of tough, but the spiders can poison you, which is why I ran away from that spider earlier. It's very simple, as you can see. There's not a whole lot to this game, but it's a lot of fun. It's more fun than I expected it to be. So we're almost dead, so let's drink this healing potion. For those wondering, I don't actually speak a word of Japanese. I uh, found a guide online that explains what the menu options and stuff are, which is how I know what they do. So we met our goal, which is um, this bar right down here, three out of three monsters killed. So this little door appears, and we can use that to escape. And I hope that graphical glit or that audio glitch doesn't pick up on the mic. I'm not sure it causes that, but it's really annoying. And it goes over the monsters we killed, and I don't know what these options are, so let's just keep going. Uh, let's do a different one. No, it's number four. Let's do them in order. So again, this is just level one, so we get pretty much the same starting out loadout. But this dungeon looks a little bit different, and we don't have to fight anything, which is actually pretty good. Um, it looks like we are going to have to fight this thing unless we go invisible, but this early on, I think it would be wasting our invisibility ring, or whatever it is. The guide I found calls it a ring. That was a trap. It's basically just a pitfall. You fall down to the next floor and take a bit of damage. Nothing too strange there. That's useless. Let's fight this thing. And we didn't get poisoned. So there should be a secret door around here. And yeah, that funny animation means that you're pushing against a wall. Now let's let these crabs pass, and we got a fire spell. Not bad. That will do a lot of damage to one enemy. Probably don't need it right now, but it'll come in handy. And this raised our defense, I think. So, that's that one out of the way, and we can move on. I keep getting a graphic. I get an audio glitch whenever 
I uh, finish a stage, which is kind of annoying. So this one is just to find those goblet things. And this is probably my favorite um, dungeon environment. Just looks really cool. Okay, no, that's our defense. So the other one was our luck amulet. And you can see that stays in our inventory and we get the boost as long as we have it. Okay, got around them. <sighs> okay. It's not worth fighting most enemies. Oops, didn't mean to do that, but it's one way to get down a floor. Okay. And there's our way out. But this guy's in the way. That spell, I think, is one that creates a wall. Yeah, and that'll interrupt your enemy's movements. Does that just create a stairway down? Yeah. Okay. Nothing particularly interesting there. So, let's move on to the next one. And basically, you'll notice that the second number here on all of these is up to two now. That's uh, how deep in the, that's how many times you've beaten the dungeon basically, and each time it gets harder. So these first few were fairly easy, but the more you beat them, the harder they become. Eventually, you get enemies like dragons and such, and it gets quite difficult actually. Like even just a couple times through, it tends to get really hard to beat. I haven't made it too far in the game, but I've been playing it quite a bit. Alright, do we have anything we can sneak by? And yeah, invisibility only lasts for a little while. Can we use this? Yeah, okay. And here's our little fairy friend. And she'll dance around a little bit, and we're free to go. But yeah, in addition to the monsters getting stronger, you also get a little bit stronger the later you get in the dungeon. And you have to find more things. So like if we go here, we have to kill four monsters this time, but we have the same starting loadout pretty much. So this, these guys aren't too bad. The turn system of this is actually pretty cool though. I like, like how simple it is. Invisibility ring. Right. And I think we have a, po a uh, potion to cure poison, so we can fight this guy safely. Shit, no. wasn't really worth anything, but yeah, now we're poisoned for five turns, but this thing with the little, like, anime eyes on it will heal us of poison. And there we go. It's another level done. It hasn't really gotten much harder yet, but it will eventually. If anybody knows Japanese, this game would probably be quite a bit easier. I think I mentioned that there's a fan translation, but I couldn't get it to work. And yeah, we're doing the same dungeon this time. These crabs are kind of annoying just because of how like, durable they are. But we have a healing potion, so it shouldn't be too bad. And we're not getting hit very hard. 
Well, I say that and then we get hit pretty hard. But yeah, that's two of our five kills already out of the way. Alright, we do have a poison antidote. So I'll fight this guy. What is that? Oh, it raises our attack power for a room, I think. Or a floor, I'm not sure. But it gives us quite a boost. Maybe it was just for our next attack, apparently. But still, that was quite a boost. Yeah, next attack only. Dead end. And the floors are all very small, so it's easy to get pretty deep into the dungeon. Just show off this. See, it does quite a lot of damage. But it doesn't matter because we can leave. I don't know what this option is. I kind of want to know what this option is, and I'm tempted to go look it up, but I don't want to look it up mid video. So let's get to five on this one. And then we'll start working on some of the others, I guess. I don't know. I don't really have a lot of plans for this as a project. I don't even know if it's going to be a full project. I might just do it as a side project or when I have off-screen stuff to do that I haven't done yet, which is why I'm doing it today, to be honest. I uh, wanted to off-screen a couple things in Unreal World, but I've been busy and I haven't gotten to it. So I decided to start on this. It took me a while to get it actually recording. I'm not sure what that is, but it looks like lava, so I'm going to try to avoid it. So that's actually an enemy I don't think I've encountered before. Let's see how tough you are. Pretty tough. Okay. And I can't avoid you. Alright. Invisible it is. Doesn't help me. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, so we died. And you don't start over from complete nothing, but you do have to restart that level again. So it's not quite permadeath, but you only get one chance at the level while you're in it. And then you have to start over as you'd expect, really. At least as I would expect, because I play roguelikes. And this one's actually pretty forgiving. It's very easy to die, but you don't lose too much when you do. And because you don't keep any of your items between levels or anything like that anyway, I don't know. Death is kind of annoying, especially later on when you're going to be putting in quite a bit of time just to do one level, and you might end up losing like an hour or so while you try to redo all the work you've done, but it's not too obnoxious, really. It's just a nice, fun little roguelike. I wish they had released it in the US. It's one of these walls. There. It's a long secret passage. Okay, here we go. Sword. That raises our maximum damage. And a dark room. We can use this candle to light it up. And these gas clouds are not dangerous, but they're annoying. Well, I'll hold on to that sort that um attack upgrade, that temporary attack upgrade rather. And yeah, I can't hurt them, but it can't hurt me either. So 
it's not that big of a deal. Oops. Yeah, okay, so that's instant death. Let's go do the uh, second gold one. Getting tired of redoing that one. But yeah, I do really like this game. And if you can pick it up, I recommend it. It works fine on emulators and such. Which, as you've probably noticed from the mouse, that's what I'm using to play it. We do have an antidote. Yeah, most of the strategy in the game comes from trying to avoid enemies, which I really like. A lot of roguelikes are too combat-centric for me. I really like this one. really encourages you to run away rather than try to fight anything. So I think that lets us fly. So we could get over obstacles and such. Stairs. Nope, spiders. Should be a way out on this floor somewhere. Might not be in this room, though. One enemy we haven't seen that I normally see on level 3 of the previous floor is um, Mimics. Which pretty standard. <laughs> they just look like um, treasure chests, but they're slightly lighter color, I think. Yep, yeah, finally one another one. I want to try this like, one more time. <laughs> so yeah, it's a pretty simple game. Like I said, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to make this like an actual project. Oh, this is the combat one, so I should probably kill this little dude. Oh, looks like a goblin, I guess? Something like that. Right, invisibility ring could be handy. Those centipede things, or millipedes, whatever they are, I don't remember what they do. So let's find out. Do a fair bit of damage, but they're not too tough. Okay. Another ring of invisibility. Oh, they can poison me. That's what they do. Let's heal that up real quick. Those fireballs are pretty weak, thankfully. Unlike the ones that we use, which are ridiculous. They become less useful against stronger monsters, as you saw that um like lava serpent thing. Didn't even care. I think level 5 is when we start running into like Cyclopses. But yeah, I think the combat one is actually the hardest, just because you do actually have to fight things. And the others, all of the others, you just want to run as far as you can from anything trying to kill you. Let's see what's over here before we fuck around with that. Health potion, so I'll fight this millipede. Or centipede, or whatever the fuck it's meant to be. I have no idea. You can kill these gas clouds with 
be fire spell. But it's usually a waste because there are things that are much more dangerous. And they just can't hurt you on their own. Like, right now this guy is completely useless. I can just sit here and wait a couple rounds and he just sits there and stares at me. Just annoying because they can get in your way like that. Skeleton. These guys are pretty tough. So I'm gonna burn him alive. Or dead. I don't know. And fell through a false floor and took quite a bit of damage on the way down and got poisoned. I think we died here. Nope. Survived, but only just. Got the spider, but we're not doing so great. Alright, skeleton I don't think we can handle. Cyclops we definitely can't handle. That little, like, Zelda bubble thing we might be able to deal with and run away. Probably another Cyclops. Yep. So I don't want to fuck with him right now. And the enemies that are big like that do have an extended range where like if we're standing here, he basically he can hit these four squares and these two rather than just these four. So that makes them particularly dangerous. They're harder to run around. Alright, get out of here, crab. Another spider, and more poison. Enemies don't usually drop items, but very rarely they will. This isn't looking so good for us, because we need to kill two more things, and we're almost dead. Out of there. Ooh, giant crab. Let's block you off. Hmm. That's annoying. What's this room look like? Looks like a pain in the ass. Okay. Let's get out of here. And I think we're dead. Yeah, that killed us. But if that didn't kill us, the monster would have. So let's go back into the gold one. But yeah, I do think that one is definitely the hardest, just because as the monsters get stronger and you need to kill more, it just gets really difficult. Is there a secret door around here? I don't want to go over near that guy and get hit. It's not worth it. I hit? No. Okay. Well, that was probably my fault. I probably hit the wrong button. Spiders are pretty easy to avoid. And 
these guys that move on predictable patterns aren't too bad normally unless you like sandwich between a couple of them. I think the millipedes only move up and down and the crabs only move left and right. I'm going to take one hit. And to drink the antidote first, but whatever. Oh shit. It's like a death or something, I guess. I don't know, it's not friendly. Power boost is nice. And let's get the fuck out of here. Defense bonus. This guy's getting in our way, so I'll kill him. Oh, he dropped a wall for us. Cool. I think that's luck, which determines like how much damage you take in one hit or something like that. Uh, Cyclops, okay. Indoor over here. Is there anything over here though? No, but that lit up the room, which is kind of interesting. I didn't know they did that. Get out of there before that skeleton gets closer. And there's a way out. Also, it's in this first. So, I'll light you on fire. Another wall. Okay. So, that didn't go too poorly. Are we up to half an hour? I'll do one more. Like I said, I'm not sure if this is going to be a real project or if it's just going to be like one or two videos. I'll have to decide at some point. But right now is not that point. Secret doors. Secret doors are pretty easy to find normally because of that question mark that shows up over your head. That is a mimic. If you try to open it, it will attack you. You can tell because it's um a shade lighter than the real chest. This real chest uses light gray and dark gray and black, whereas this one uses white, light gray, and black. Ouch. Okay, well I'm gonna wait a couple turns here so I can sneak past. Yeah, that's how you can tell a mimic from the real things. And there's another mimic up there. I want that coin though, so I'll burn you. And let your mimic friend nap. So this is actually a pretty bad spot to have a Cyclops in. Yeah, I don't do like any damage to it. Heal up. Looks like another Cyclops. It's not too bad. It's in a wide area at least. A doorway. Here it is. Oops, didn't mean to do that, but didn't work out too poorly for me, I guess. Nope.
Um, hmm. And we died. Okay. Well, I'm going to call it an episode here. I'll see you guys next time, though. Bye!